ya estamos en Londres con una buena noticia, ganadores del premio Nobel en química, Marcela, su turno. Hi, Marcela from W Radio Colombia. So you said that you already improved the lives of millions of people around the world. Uh, my question would be for both of you, what can we expect in the next two or three years? Shall we be worried? Shall we be excited? I mean, maybe in the in the alpha fold context. I mean, one of the things to say is, is the what this prize really recognizes is the the enormous research impact. The fact that there are all these people that do the really hard work. Right? Why why is medicine hard? And medicine is hard because we don't understand how the body works. It's an extraordinarily complex machine, and alpha fold is a step toward doing that. And we see it in. I think it's something like 30,000 scientific papers that have cited their use of alpha fold. And so we're seeing many, many, many scientists across the world whose, whose work goes faster, the core work of understanding disease. You know, I, the moment that I will be almost as excited as this will be uh, the Nobel Prize that talks about the work done with alpha fold to understand this disease. I can't wait. For that moment, we already see this. We see this with, you know, editions of Science and Nature, where the the cover article or me, often many articles are based on how they used alpha fold to understand disease. And I think what we'll see immediately is this acceleration of research. What I think will come soon through, you know, our work, uh, the work at Isomorphic Labs, David's work on protein design, is that we're going to get better and better at harnessing. Biology and our understanding of biology to make medicines, and as Demis talks about the shortening of the time frame to medicine, and I hope what this means is ultimately that we will be more responsive, that we can respond. You know, we're already seeing this. We're talking to groups like SEPI, uh, the Center for Epidemic Preparedness. Uh, I think innovations, but you can check on how can we respond faster to pandemics. How can computational systems give us the knowledge we need? To make treatments faster, we see this in work uh, like Matthew Higgins, who was using alpha fold and to under better understand malaria proteins so that they could design a better vaccine. All of these, we're going to see this work that starts to kind of bring forward and accelerate biology. And, and to the point Demis made earlier, we shouldn't, you know, th there's not just one problem in biology. It isn't simply a structure. There are many, many problems and many to be solved. And I think AlphaFold is both an incredibly useful system that we see the impact of it as a computer program, but also this this kind of moment at which we can all say AI matters, computation matters, that will make biologists better at the incredibly important work they do for our health. Bueno, Marcela le pregunta los premios Nobel de Química Demis Hassabis y John Jumper sobre la predicción de la estructura de las proteínas que como han dicho ya ha sido muy útil para millones de personas en el mundo y le pregunta puntualmente qué podemos esperar en los próximos dos o tres años si debemos estar preocupados o emocionados por el futuro y John Jumper responde que en lo que tiene que ver con el programa de inteligencia artificial AlphaFold desarrollado por DeepMind de Alphabet el premio es un reconocimiento al impacto de la investigación y el trabajo duro que hacen todas las personas involucradas se pregunta por qué la medicina es tan difícil y la respuesta es porque no sabemos cómo funciona el cuerpo es una máquina bastante compleja que no sabemos realmente cómo funciona y el programa AlphaFold ayuda a entender cómo funciona el cuerpo humano dice que ya hay 30.000 investigaciones científicas que, han, que se han hecho con AlphaFold y estamos viendo muchos científicos alrededor del mundo cuyo trabajo va más rápido para entender enfermedades gracias Gracias a este programa. Entonces dice que en el momento eh, que estará casi tan emocionado como hoy es cuando se le dé el Nobel a un trabajo hecho con AlphaFold para poder entender esa enfermedad puntual que se haya estudiado con la herramienta. Muchos artículos se basan en cómo usan AlphaFold, así que vamos a ver una aceleración de las investigaciones. Lo que se viene pronto es eso y acortar el tiempo en el que se desarrolla la medicina. Vamos a poder reaccionar mejor a una pandemia, por ejemplo, y cómo estos sistemas computacionales nos pueden dar el conocimiento que necesitamos para responder más rápido y para responder mejor con tratamientos que funcionen de una manera más efectiva entender por ejemplo las proteínas de la malaria para hacer una mejor vacuna vamos a ver todos estos trabajos que se van a acelerar eh, por la biología porque no hay un solo problema de las biologías, hay muchos todavía por 
por resolver y AlphaFold va a ser muy útil y ha demostrado ser un programa muy útil para complementar la biología y todos estos temas de la medicina. Eh, ha demostrado también cómo la inteligencia artificial importa, cómo la computación importa y cómo ha hecho que los biólogos mejoren todo su trabajo y todo lo que pueda hacer por la salud. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so, 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 just on the on that question too. I mean, I, of course, I you know, it's very excited about all the things that John mentioned, and I think in the end, one of my dreams has always been that we can maybe um, uh, uh, build a model of a virtual cell, so we could really understand a whole a whole working mechanism in a whole complete part of biology, um, and maybe you could perturb that virtual cell in some way, and then that prediction uh, leads to something very useful uh, in the real world. Um, and, when, and you know, in terms of your question about what, well, I think we should be excited and also cautious. You know, I, I talk about myself as a cautious optimist. Obviously, I, I, you know, again, I've worked on this my whole life because I believe it's going to be the most beneficial technology to humanity. But there come with, you know, with something that powerful, that transformative, it comes with risks. And um, and I think that we just need to be really aware of that as we're working on these uh, these problems uh, and as we discover new things. Um, and I think the answer to that is actually to use the scientific method to rigorously, as, as much as possible, have foresight on what these things are going to do. We're not going to get everything right as a field because it's so fast moving and it's so new, this technology. But we should try and do everything we can uh, using the scientific tools we know, the rigorous tools that we have and, and, and we've invented since the Enlightenment. Um, you know, I think that's the way to build something as consequential as... Uh, as AI. Um, so I, again, I, I talk about this cautious optimism. I think that things are going to be amazing and amazing things like AlphaFold are going to come out of AI, you know, curing diseases. I think it will help with climate. I think new energy sources, new materials, uh, and new types of mathematics. Uh, these, you know, we're actually working on some of those things at, at DeepMind, but, but, and, and many others are, and applying AI to all of these fields, perhaps eventually under, helping us to understand the, the very nature of, of the universe or the fabric of reality, you know, these big questions in physics. I've always been, since a kid, fascinated by the biggest questions, and I think AI is going to be the ultimate tool to help us as scientists and, 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 uh, and uh, medics to, to make the breakthroughs that we need and the, the world, um, I think, uh, desperately needs. Um, but we also have to make sure we really understand these systems as far as we can and, and can control them and interpret what they're doing. And uh, those are all themselves very hard research questions. So, um, you know, there's a lot to do, a lot of work to do. And we, we work all hours of the day on not only these projects, but also on, 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 uh, on the things around the, the technologies to try and understand them better and, and make sure that we chart the right path through this. Bueno, y finalmente, el otro Nobel, Demis, eh, pues quiere agregar a esa respuesta que está muy emocionado, por supuesto, por todo lo que dice su colega, pero al final él también tiene el sueño de poder construir un modelo eh, virtual de uno mismo para entender el mecanismo completo, eh, para entender la biología completa y hacer a partir de esa predicción útil en el mundo real. Él cree que debemos estar muy emocionados con todas estas herramientas que nos trae la inteligencia artificial, pero al mismo tiempo cautelosos. Él habla de sí mismo como un optimista cauteloso él ha trabajado toda su vida en esta herramienta porque cree que va a ser la tecnología más beneficiosa para la humanidad, pero dice que esta tecnología es tan poderosa, tan transformativa que viene con riesgos y cree que debemos estar conscientes de eso por eso a medida de que trabajamos todos estos problemas y descubrimos nuevas cosas, debemos estudiarlo muy bien y ser cautelosos, cree que la respuesta a eso es usar el método científico para tener la mayor información posible de lo que puede hacer esta herramienta, obviamente no van a sacar todo bien porque esta tecnología se mueve muy rápido, pero, pero deben hacer todo lo que esté a su alcance usando las herramientas científicas que conocen, las que tienen y de esa manera construir algo tan consecuente como lo es la inteligencia artificial, por eso habla todo el tiempo de este optimismo cauteloso porque es algo maravilloso lo que AlphaFold ha dado y la inteligencia artificial puede ayudar a temas relacionados con el clima, con enfermedades, a desarrollar materiales, fuentes de energía, entonces están trabajando todo eso en DeepMind y otros para ayudar a entender también la naturaleza del universo, para resolver las grandes preguntas de la física y es una herramienta muy útil para los científicos, para los médicos y es algo que el mundo necesita ahora mismo entonces es un sistema que deben entender muy bien, que deben aprender a controlar a interpretar 
pero nos dice que es una tecnología muy poderosa que los va a ayudar muchísimo.